I keep seeing this anti-rax business and I'm kind of confused. <laughs> lashes honey are they pretty i got them this is not sponsored um i got them from Milax cosmetics and they are they, this, the packaging is really cute it's got a little mirror in it it's got like a um a little spoolie brush um it's really sparkly and cute. The lashes are called Flirt. And I feel flirty in them, darling. I feel flirty. Anyways, so I thought I'd put them on today because why not? It's Jadine. Oh, yeah. It's Jadine. Uh, uh, uh. It's Jadine. Oh, yeah. It's Jadine. Uh, uh, uh. Well, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So, I wanted to talk about anti-vaxxers because um, it's a very understandable concept, but it's still incorrect. Anti-vaccinations is the movement and um the rationales would be i don't want to give uh, my child a vaccination because um vaccinations you know they, they're, they're not really needed anymore we don't have any of these um diseases prevalent anymore um so that's one rationale um i don't want vaccinations for myself because uh they contain harmful metals is another rationale that they have um and just a general distrust they believe that more people um pass away as a result of vaccinations so in england they have a schedule um from when you're zero so when you're eight weeks old you get your first set of injections then you'll get boosters so you'll get a couple of boosters at 12 weeks uh 16 weeks then your next lot is at a year old after your year old ones you will have a booster at about three and a half years old and then you're kind of left alone until you're a teenager where you'll get HPV vaccines, that type of thing, um, and boosters again. And then as a school leaver, you will also be able to get boosters. Um, and then once you get older, then you get you come into um, other vaccines that are available at 65, 70, etc. So um that's the schedule that i'm most familiar with that, that's what i've administered in my career um and you'll get travel vaccinations as well i forgot to mention you'll get travel vaccinations going to certain countries you might need additional vaccines okay so unfortunately for those that are anti-vaxxers there is a lot of evidence showing how safe vaccines actually are um so there's plenty of resources if you look at the nhs website there's resources on vaccines you know by by each vaccine you can read through um also you've got travel immunizations on nafnac you, you can look up the actual vaccinations themselves and and kind of what to be aware of of course with anything so any type of intervention like uh, surgery um medications like tablets you know over-the-counter stuff that you can buy there's a risk of side effects most common side effects would be as painful like 
area where you got the injection it might raise up there might be a bruise there it might be sore when you're moving your arm around it might cause you some discomfort most people don't get any other side effects um some people might get a temperature raise so they might need some paracetamol to help reduce that down um which would advise for like baby injections that you know give them paracetamol um and the reason why we advise people to give their child paracetamol is because it helps with the pain um whilst having the injection after the injection and it also will help regulate the temperature rationale number one these diseases aren't um what? these diseases aren't prevalent in you know our society nowadays so why do i need to give my child a vaccine so the reason why you need to give your child a vaccine is because we want to keep the diseases out away you know we're trying to protect people so herd protection so you know if someone is unfortunate and develops measles or mumps say um the majority of those that may have come into contact with them won't get the same illness and that's really important because if we had outbreaks that needs to be then traced and find out kind of like who's who's um you know not vaccined and there was actually a spike in cases of mumps recently so that is something that can occur so this minds the the mindset of well you know they're not around that just because you haven't personally seen somebody that has measles doesn't mean it doesn't still occur just because you haven't seen someone with polio doesn't mean that it doesn't occur it's better to have the vaccinations and prevent the the uh, occurrences of these diseases rather than trying to treat the di disease that's active in a, in a person and we don't want to have outbreaks we don't want to put people that are vulnerable in society so the people with compromised immune systems and such to be at higher risk because people don't want to comply with having vaccines uh, so hopefully that's covered the first rationale second rationale is um they contain metals um there there was a um kind of like a preservative that was from kind of like magnesium obviously it's not actually magnesium and it's in such a tiny amount if you actually see the amount of fluid in the vaccines it's about a mil on average so a teaspoon is five mils so it's not even a quarter of a teaspoon for most injections so the likelihood of having a high amount of anything toxic is really low i know that at one point i think it was in the 80s or 90s some doctor somewhere was saying that the the magnesium salt um in the mmr vaccines are linked with increased autism risk um which was a lie so that's debunked because the magnesium salt wasn't even in the MMR vaccine in the first place. So there's that. Um, the likely reason that the autism rates increased is because there's more understanding and there is more um, access to services. So people are getting diagnosed, whereas before they might not have done. Um, so anyways, that was debunked um you know someone saying that they don't want to have uh, any injections whether it's because they're scared of needles or i don't know whether they are just having you know like a aversion to healthcare that's kind of separate um yeah injections aren't fun but 
it's literally a few days that you feel a bit maybe under the weather most people just get a bit of a sore arm or nothing um so really is it worth putting yourself at risk just for the sake of ha not having that uncomfortable feeling of having an injection or painful i mean it, it it is a bit painful but it's not life or death is it do you know what i mean uh it's just like having a blood test even less than having a blood test really so that's that and what did i say the third rationale was uh the risk of harm i think it was so risk of harm because of vaccines um so having a severe allergic reaction is very very rare um i don't think it's more common than one in a thousand so it's really really rare to say how many millions of people get vaccinated every year and have no serious side effects you know shows how safe the vaccines actually are so um i will try and link some some like um sites you know so you can look yourself at the nhs website um maybe i can put the um nafnac site down there for the travel vaccines as well um but as far as i'm concerned if you can prevent an illness then wouldn't that be the best thing we don't want to treat a preventable illness we want to stop it from happening in the first place we want it extinct in the first place um the reason why the vaccination schedules are what they are is because of outbreaks in the past so you know it it's not just pulled out of thin air um and i think to deny your child um the chance to have a kind of illness free when it comes to things like um pneumococcal rotavirus if you can prevent it then why wouldn't you want to do that do you know what i mean i mean it's, it's, it's hello so my advice to parents is vaccinate your kids and um yeah just read stuff like don't read facebook posts or watch youtube videos about someone going off on one about vaccinations go and actually read up the science you know if you're that interested or concerned so that you can be well informed and ask the nurse that's given the immunizations so educate yourselves people anyways thank you so much for watching hopefully i will see you next week come back subscribe give me a like give me a comment what do you think about anti-vaxxers have you seen people saying i'm not vaccinating my kids because it is getting more and more common especially now we've got social media we can open these discussions so yeah have a good day have a good life have a good week and i'll see y'all next time Bye. That's uh, what I, you know, administered to administer. Administered. Really? Ooh, really? That's really? what I've administered to. Ooh, I can't speak. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week. Eee! Eh, eh. And then I even subscribe.